And now let's all play What's My Line? Hello, everybody. Hello, Larry. Hello, Larry. And congratulations on having survived. <laughs> what? What? Another night. Oh. Okay, listen, we have two very interesting challenges today. Are you talking today. about my personality or my underwear? <laughs> well, I'm talking about the only thing I know about. Okay. <laughs> He's talking Your about underwear. my underwear. <laughs> Your oh. shorts and shirts will be ready Thursday. <laughs> Thank you. No starch. No starch. Okay, we have two marvelous challengers today and a good mystery guest for you later. Right now, would our first challenger enter and sign in, please? Bradley Stone. You all see that? There we are. Where are you from, Bradley? Deerfield, Illinois. Okay. Bradley Stone invented this device panel. There it is. It is used in the home. Before you try to figure it out, let's show the audience what it is. And we'll start the questioning with Gail Sheldon. Thank you, Larry. Okay. Is this used by both men and women? Yes. Does this give off any kind of sound? Yes, it does. Um, do you set this to give off the sound? Yes. How do you mean? Well, in what sense? I mean, do you, do you do something to it that makes it eventually give off sound? Well, I suppose in a larger sense you do, yes. Is it in any sense an alarm? Yes. Is it, um, is it an alarm that warns you about something? Yes. Is it a burglar alarm? A burglar alarm. One down, nine to go. Alan? Does it have anything to do with animals? No. Nothing to do with animals. Two down and eight to go. Arlene? Does it tell you the baby has fallen out of the crib? <laughs> no, <laughs> no but it... if you're patient, the baby will tell you. <laughs> Three down and seven to go. Soupy? Uh, does this ever come in contact with water? Yes, it does. When it comes in contact with water, would it tell you if your bathtub was overflowing or That's something? That's exactly what it would tell you. <laughs> Bradley Stone is the inventor of the Bath Sentry, a brand new bathtub water level alarm. Bradley, will you show us how it works? Sure. It's a good idea. Is it good? My bathtub's Wish always over. I wish the people up above me had had it last week. <laughs> well, the bath sentry attaches very easily to the side of the bathtub in seconds by way of a suction cup. And you set it at the level uh, that you desire, the water, the water level you desire. It's going to be low or high or however you'd like it. Or and deep indeed. <laughs> as the water enters the bathtub and approaches the level you desire, That's terrific. Yeah. That's terrific. <laughs> well, if you've got a phone call and your water's running and that starts to buzz, it won't turn the water off, though. It just tells you to drop the phone and come in. But you could right. always That's put the right. phone down and go in and do it. Yes, you could. What, uh, what inspired you to do this? Well, the bathtub overflowed <laughs> and... Um, I rigged up a device that would ring an alarm. Did it happen to you? Yes, it happened to myself and also another member of my family. Well, how much does that sell for? And Bath Century sells for $4.95, $4.95. Take two, they're small. Thank you very much for being with us on What's My Life. <laughs> All What's My Lion contestants receive Sarah Coventry jewelry, elegantly designed springtime pin and earrings in silver tone, set with lilac stones and silver chain pastel glow necklace. And you'll really swing out in style with these action-ready fashion right casual slacks. They're casuals by Carwood, cited as a fashion pace setter. And Bissell Sweepmaster, electric all-floor vacuum that needs no attachments. Stores as easy as it cleans. Bissell cares about your home, Larry. Okay, thank you, Johnny. 
Now we're back, and would our next challenger enter and sign in, please? Or check in. You would and Shirley Marie. And where are you from? Minneapolis, Minnesota. Minneapolis. Panel, Hugh Forgey and his partner Shirley Marie are performers in the current edition of the Ice Capades, which is now touring the country. They have combined ice skating and another sport in a way that is unique. And now let's show the audience what they do on ice skates that no one has ever done before. <laughs> And now, Alan, because you have the cleanest mind on the panel, we start, we start the questioning yes, with you. I have a clean mind, but when you say that no one has ever done before, you make it sound so dirty. I, I like what you bring to this show. I really do. <laughs> you add a certain amount of color. Now, let's see, you're doing things on skates that nobody's ever done before, correct? Right. Does that involve any kind of athletic ability, this thing that you're doing that no one ever did before? I mean, other yes. than skating. Yes. Does it have any kind of acrobatics involved with it? Well, not in the sense that you mean, although it requires enormous physical agility that sometimes seems acrobatic, it is not in fact acrobatics. You've but been studying with John Daly. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? I was so young then, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, right. Okay, one now, nine to go, our lead. Uh, Shirley and Hugh, do you uh, use any equipment apart from your ice skates, therefore, when you are performing whatever this is? Yes. yes. Um, is it uh, uh, a musical instrument of any kind? No. no. It's not a musical instrument. Two down, eight to go, soupy. Uh, when you do this, Hugh and Shirley, uh, are you ever taller than you are when you walked in? Just on skates. No, I mean like... They're no, they're not really no. tall. They're not on stilts, if that's yeah, what you that's mean. What okay, Gail? Is any kind of ball involved in this? A ball. No. 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 Four down and six to go. Alan. Are you, do you, do you leave the ice? Do you, are you off the ice a part of your act now? No. no. I imagine only if disaster strikes. <laughs> five down and five to go, Arlene. Is the equipment that you use uh, something that might be considered sporting equipment? Yes. Yes. Oh. Uh, if it's not a ball, do you have anything to do with either uh, a, um, a hockey stick or a, 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 a bow and arrow. That's from one extreme to another. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 neither of those. Six down and four to go Good soupy. Do, do, <clears throat> excuse me. They, do you do, so, well, when you do this, do we see you or do we see something else? Are you ever covered by anything? No, no, never covered by anything. No. Seven down and three to go, Gail. Sporting. Do you pass this piece of equipment from one to the other? That's hard to say. There's an element of that in it, Gail, but it's... Uh... Is that a no? Boy, that's hard to say. It's a qualified yes. Would you accept that? Okay. Is it anything round? Round? Round. No. no. Not no. really. Eight down and two to go. Alan? Do you wear skates on anything other than your feet? <laughs> no, they do not. Nope. Nine down and one to go. Arlene? <clears throat> the sporting equipment that you use, uh, is it something that is held in the hand? Yes, yes. in yes. part. Partly. Oh, it's partly in the hand and partly some other part of the body? No. no. <laughs> I tell you, they're all down. I've seen this act, and it is absolutely spectacular what they do. They play badminton. Oh. <laughs> Hugh Forgey and his partner Shirley Marie do an exhibition of badminton on ice with the ice capades, but when I saw it, I think he was playing alone. Did you? Play. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, we have the, we finish up the last point of our game in which uh, it looks like I'm playing alone, but I'm playing two out of three shots. Oh, you are, yes. and you're doing the other. It's I an see. illusion that it looks like I'm playing alone. It's really spectacular to watch. How long have you been playing badminton, Hugh? Oh, nearly 40 years. Ooh, ah. <laughs> you, were, you were a champion. Uh, uh, professional champion for 11 years. 
That's you were a boy, Larry. <laughs> I guess I was. <laughs> Listen, what I said about about uh, yeah, Mr. Then... Daly a while ago is surely joking. I mean, that's a now, great Now, you used flattery. to play with Mr. Daly. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Daly. Okay, Shirley Marie, how did you get into show business? Oh, I was one of Hugh's pupils for many years. Mm -hmm. I followed him around with ice capades when he would... Uh, I was a badminton pupil, not a skating pupil, and I grew up in Minnesota, and we all skate in Minnesota. I so you just went into the and ice capades? when he asked me to join him, I couldn't turn him down. Now, we have some film from last year's edition of the Ice Capades, and I wonder if you'd explain what's happening as we watch it. Well, there's Shirley on the first faster, point. Faster, <laughs> I'm on the, I've got the easy side. <laughs> oh, between oh. the legs. That's Sometimes it ups. Oh, that was a naughty trick to play, Major. Mother always called me naughty. That's my middle name. Uh -huh. Hey, I've got there, to go. Down to your forehand, Shirley. That what? white thing you see there in my hand is my Foreign Legion cap. That looks like a tough one. Go, Major, go. And there's that Very illusion I was telling you about. There's Shirley hitting one, here I'm coming around to hit oh, one and another on the second go. side. <laughs> right. Now, is that choreographed before you go in? Oh, uh, it is and it isn't, for like instance. Like a football uh, game is yes. choreographed. <laughs> uh, the best putter in the world in golf is choreographing that shot to the hole, but he still has to make it, even though it's a four-inch putt. Yeah. We've got to, Look, even though we hit again. this. Look at uh, you play on both sides. Yeah, he runs under the net. That's really spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being with us on What's My Eyes, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, it's time to play Who's Who. Lloyd, would you open the curtains, please? Here we have four members of our audience. One is a scout leader, one a data processor, one a postal supervisor, and one a lawyer. Now, the job is to give each person the card which has their real job uh, description on it. You have 20 seconds, and let's start with Alan Ludden. All right. All right. Okay, Alan, that is incorrect, and they've got $25. Okay, you're on, Arlene. <laughs> Lawyer, scout leader, data processor, postal super. Now, what is it now? That is incorrect, and so you've got $50, and super, you're on. 20 seconds, soup. Postal supervisor, lawyer, data processor, and scout reader is incorrect. You've got $75. Gail, you're on. And everybody's wrong by George. So now you have $100 and a special gift. Congratulations, you beat everybody. Would you now give each other your real card? Would each of you take your own card now, if you would? And tell us, what is it really? Scout leader, lawyer, data buzzer? Oh. And would you tell us who you are? Adele Ramirez from Linden, New Jersey. Uh, Dallas Pago from Cleveland, Ohio. Darlene Sharor from Topeka, Kansas. Bob Coughlin from Randolph, Massachusetts. Congratulations. You've won $100, and each of you gets a gift, and thank you for being with us on What's My Line. All right, we're back now. Blindfolds, everybody. Yo. Blindfolds yes, are little by little yeah, getting yeah. into place. And would our mystery guest enter and sign in, please? Okay, panel, it's one question at a time. You have two minutes to guess the identity of our mystery guest, and let's start with Gail. Thank you, Larry. Mystery guest, have you ever appeared in films? No. That's a new, Alan. Have you, do you appear regularly on the stage? Not, not right now. Okay, Arlene. Do you sing? Yes, I do. Soupy? 
Uh, are you uh, really a best known as a nightclub performer? I sing show, yes, yes. Yeah. Gail? Do you sing alone? Yes, I do. Alan? <laughs> you sound like Ed Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's trying to sound like Ed Sullivan. Arlene? Oh, I'm sorry, Alan. Oh, that's my question. You're, uh, and I got an answer. No, no, you're no. not. No. Oh, all right, Arlene. Are you appearing in one of the supper clubs in New York at the present time? I don't think so right now, no. Soupy? And if he doesn't think so, he probably isn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think of two people uh, uh, of who it could be. You got to take a guess of the two? Okay. It, would it either be Will Jordan or David Fry? <laughs> what a marvelous guess for an impersonator. No, no that's just that's not right. Gail? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you appear on television often? Sometimes. Alan? Are you Frank Fontaine? No. <laughs> I, mean, I think you established that he's a singer. Yeah. Well, Frank Fontaine sings. Oh, I've been out Oh, is it, uh, uh, is it Tony Bennett? Nope. Soupy? Is it Jack Jones? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Gail? Jerry Vale? Jerry Vale! <laughs> 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 you really threw him, Gary. Yeah. yeah. I think that imitation of, of, uh, of Ed Sullivan was so good that you really threw him. Was it any good, really? Very good. Yeah, it was good. Except we know he can't sing. <laughs> but the great thing is, is because I think uh, Ed is your closest friend. Yeah, he's a very good friend of mine, right? You live in Las Vegas now. I live in Las Vegas. I've been there for two and a half years now, and I love it. What's it like to live in the middle of the desert? Hot. <laughs> that seems reasonable to people. No, it's, it's very nice, Larry. It's, uh, it's a good town to live in. We do have hot weather in the summer, but in the winter, we don't have snow or sleet or any of that. You know, we, it's now, you've made another harder. album. Did you record it there? I have a new album that just came out. What's it called? Uh, Jerry Vale's All-Time Greatest Hits, which is my 41st album. Holy cow. And I'm recording one next week in California. That'll be your 42nd. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that out. <laughs> I, I knew Jerry when he recorded his first one, right, That's Jerry? right. Did you really? That's yep. right. It They're going to name a street after that one, Jerry, that you're doing next week. 42nd Street. Harold. <laughs> 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 <Sorry, Jerry. laughs> I don't know, Jerry. I don't know that you have to sit here and listen to that sort of thing and be subjected to this kind of... He's a of friend. Music. I have to. Yeah, why shouldn't he? I have to. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what did he mean by that? Listen, Jerry, what are you going to record in the new one? Well, I'm doing some contemporary songs, tunes like uh, Daddy, Don't You Walk So Fast, a song called Run To Me, all of the tunes that are hits right now. Which do you like to record the best, and which do you feel are going to be the songs that endure the best, the old ones, the new ones? Well, I like to do good ballads. I think mm -hmm. that the ballads stay around a lot longer than the others. Mm -hmm. That's uh, been my forte for all these years. Most of my albums are in the ballad field, and one or two of the other, but uh, all of the ballads are my favorites. Well, you're a marvelous ballad singer. Thank you very much. And that must be because you love it. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. <laughs> You know, we were talking a while ago about Jerry Vale singing ballads, and I said he was such a marvelous singer. I wasn't kidding. He really is. Oh, yeah. But, Soupy, you, you made some records, too. Do you yes. Ever... Besides the mouse, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I, made a, I w made one album that they use in five states for capital punishment. <laughs> yeah. 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 Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow on West My Life. <laughs>